All right, it feels good to be on holiday. So I've got a week off work now and hoping to do a daily update. But we'll see how that one works out. It might not really be feasible. So it's day one, 10 o'clock in the morning. I had a bit of a lay in today, I know. A little bit lazy, I know, but there you go. And I'm gonna make a start on the boat. Before we make a start today, let's have a look at what we've done so far. In one of the latest videos, you would have seen us stripping paint off here using a propane torch. So since then, that has been coated with the crazy mix, which is raw linseed oil, cupronol, paraffin. That's what it was. Um, and then I've also applied some metallic wood primer. Actually, I don't think it is metallic wood primer. It looks kind of metallic, but it's actually International PrimerCon, and I've mixed it 50-50 with some thinners uh, just to protect the wood while we're kind of doing stuff. I don't want it to dry out too much. Back, back at the transom, um, a couple of people have asked me about this repair down here. Um, so what happened here was, this was before I started making the blog, really. Um, one of the gudgeons went really rusty on the transom and it rotted all of this area here. Uh, and that was a pretty tricky repair. Uh, and as you can see, it's ended up one, two, three, four pieces of wood. Uh, the reason being, look at the boat from down here, you can see that the, this bit of wood is two inches thick. And on the inside, the face is much bigger than on the outside because the planks are tapering inwards so what I actually did was I made a piece of wood that was the right size and then I had to cut it up into pieces to try and get it to fit in and that was really difficult the more I was cutting it up and the more I was sanding off it and things uh, I think the more of a mess I was making of it to be honest so I gave all the bits of wood to one of the boat builders in the yard here um, and he glued them back together and did a little bit of trimming and he came up with a system to make it fit whereby basically these two here are wedges that have changed the shape of that hole from this way to this way uh, which is kind of difficult to describe um, but it basically means this big bit in the middle the inside face of it is much smaller than the outside face so it can just be pushed in as a plug um, so pretty pretty good solution actually I don't really know why I didn't think of that but you kind of look at these things in hindsight and you think that's actually really simple coming down the port side of the boat now um, we've got a similar situation there's the gigantic propane tank this wood has been treated with the crazy concoction and then it's been primered with 50-50 primer and thinners um, and I've obviously got a lot more to do here from this point forwards pretty much uh, still needs doing um, so what I'm gonna be working on today is cleaning out these gaps here because they've got residue putty in them and I want that to be a really nice clean open join so that I can tighten up the nails add some more wear where required um, and get a really nice join. Some of them are tighter than others, but just kind of work our way around and, and see how it goes, really. I mean, you can see here, this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. I want to be removing that. So I've got a really nice clean join. really pleased with how this has gone uh, using this tool here 
the gaps between these planks have come up really nice. Uh, I've got lots of stuff out of them, so it's almost time to start thinking about refastening. Actually, what I need to do now is get on the inside of the boat, uh, just do the same thing, do a bit of sanding and a bit of hoovering, make sure it's really nice and clean, and then from the transom all the way to halfway between the bow and the stern, uh, we'll be in a position to start refastening. One more job I do want to do is just finish sanding this transom and get a coat of primer on it, and then. Um, yeah, hopefully, well, in the next couple of days, the time to start refastening, which would be good, exciting. That actually took a lot less effort than I thought. So, it's been a couple of hours using this tool here. Really pleased with how that's gone. And, um, yeah, time for a cup of tea. And a sandwich. in getting in the boat right now. I mean, quite quite a hazard at the moment. So that's why it's taking me, well, it's taking me a little while to get down here. Because as you can see, uh, the cover kind of gets in the way, the hatch is up there, and then it's a long way down. Just gonna have second cup of tea of the day, and then I'm gonna make a start, in my opinion, the proper way to make a cup of tea to put the milk in first. I know that sounds pretty nuts, but that is the proper way to make a cup of tea. And it should look like that. That is one good looking brew. So I'm gonna get that down me and then we're gonna crack on. three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, all of this area here, um, I've cleaned out the seams with that multi-tool with a scraper blade from the outside and from the inside. And the same for this area here. Okay, so we're almost in a place where it's time to start refastening stuff. So if you have a look at this seam down here, for example, um, this is not the garboard plank, it's the first plank up from the garboard. First broad strake, you can see clear daylight through that gap there. Uh, just because I'm at just the kind of right angle from up here. Uh, and if I move the camera around a little bit, you'll see, uh, you can see a fastening actually there, look. So that's just one example of what I've been trying to achieve in this area, all the way up to the shear strake. One more thing I need to do before we can refasten back here is remove another section of this stringer. So I'm gonna cut another scarf join in uh, somewhere around here. 
in actual fact it's okay because when we get to this point here I, I can then start to access the fastenings that are above the stringer and below it because uh, the angle of the stringer you know is like that and the planks are shearing up so from that point forwards I should probably be able to leave that stringer in it's only from there back to there that's a problem uh, so I'm going to make one cut here and I'm going to remove that section That was a bit of a mission and it looks like the GoPro stopped just before I successfully got the stringer out. Um, got a sweat on now I can tell you and it's four o'clock so that's taken me about an hour just to get that stringer out but it's done now um, so let's have a look. Bit of a rough looking scarf joint but it's actually okay because that will be covered in thickened epoxy uh, before this stringer is screwed back down to that so that is not a problem at all um, so the stringer was running from there all the way back to where that red paint ends and I don't need to remove any more of this stringer now as far as I can see the fastenings now are above and below it so that is good. I've only got two joins, one there and one back there when I come to refitting it. Both sections of the stringer are now here, uh, stored in the forecastle, which was once a really nice cabin space. So what I need to do is just clean up the planking underneath there before we can refasten. And uh, I've just got to remove the remainder of some nails that were holding the stringer in. Um, it looks a mess but it, it should clean up just fine so that is good uh, the reason I've had to take this out not I don't really want to have taken it out but the reason I've had to take it out is because of this seam here which needs tightening up so that's the reason why that string has come out is to access the seam underneath it and Given the amount of bulkheads that it goes through, um, it's not really possible to remove it all in one piece or move it out the way because the, uh, the holes it goes through are pretty tight. That's just about it for this time. Thank you for watching. All the support makes a massive difference to the project. If you want to find out a bit more about Andromeda and how you can get involved, follow the link to the website below.